Oh, hey. Okay. So, I'm just kidding. I knew you were there. Okay. Well, we can just leave the lid off of this. Because I'm going to be doing it. Because I'm going to be talking a lot. Okay, so, y'all know we have that trip coming up. Well, I haven't announced it on here, but I put it on my Instagram, so I don't know. How many of y'all look at the Instagram, but I said the Instagram. That's the southern thing. Everything's got to have a D in front of it. It's the Walmart, the Instagram, the Facebook. But anyway, so I have that trip coming up. If any of y'all are right around the Lake Moultrie area, down there by Santee Cooper, um, let me know and maybe we can fish together. I'm bringing the kayak down. Well, as of right now, since I'm going to be... The plan is right now that I'm going to be fishing by myself, so I'm going to be bringing the kayak. But, um, yeah, if anybody wants to fish, hit me up. Just uh, shoot me a DM or comment down below on this video. But we are going to be fishing Lake Moultrie. I decided on that one. Um, it's a little more, seems like it's a little more cozy for a kayak angler. And there's some big bass in there. And I'm going to do some catfishing too. But I'm coming down on the 27th, spending the night um down there that saturday night and then sunday i'm gonna sometime sunday i'm gonna come home and uh yeah it's gonna be a fun trip so let's just jump right into it um the i went to actually academy bass pro is that everything academy and bass pro yeah academy and bass pro um and got the majority of what i needed actually Let's start with, actually, let's start with this. Got a new tackle bag. So check this out. It's a flambeau. And it's got, um, it comes with five boxes. It's got, um, I was already into it, obviously. It's got five boxes with it. Let me move y'all back just a little bit here. It's got five boxes, so right in this container, or this compartment rather, you have five boxes. This is like a kind of like a deluxe box. Um, let's see, deluxe box. Then you have um, a waterproof bag for your phone and wallet and stuff. Mesh bag that has a zipper that closes up and everything. Um, the main boxes you have four of the regular boxes and then that um kind of like a lock type box that has the seal on it and everything ton of space in here compared to my other bag um if y'all remember i could get like two three boxes in my other bag and that was pushing it and i didn't have um nearly the amount of storage that i have on some of this other stuff but um, i'm gonna reposition i'm gonna reposition the camera so just sit tight for a second all right, y'all, so there's that um, main compartment box right here that has all that storage. Get that back up. Excited about that. I'm actually excited about the whole thing. I had my eye on this bag and um, it kept saying it was sold out online and I really wasn't ready to make that kind of commitment. This is about a hundred bucks. Some places have it for more. Um, you have this up here. I got some new scupper plugs as well for the uh, kayak, so that's exciting. I got these ones because they have little, little strings in them, but we're getting sidetracked. Um, they have all this up here. They actually have, um, this is adjustable, and then they have it where you can put your spools up here and saline pouch. I'm gonna probably, I, I haven't figured it out yet. I need to go through my bag and figure out what I'm gonna put where. I kind of have an idea already. But I'm going to go through, figure out what's going where. You have this gigantic side pocket right here. And I, um, I'll i figure out what I'm going to do with that. And then you have a zipper inside of here, kind of like a hideaway. Um, that goes all the way down. That pocket goes <laughs> all the way down there. Look at that. It's crazy. You have um, like these little things right here where you could put... Actually, I might put... All right, I'm getting some ideas. You have these, these are adjustable. They strap down. Pick that up. Same thing on the other side. Gigantic pocket, zipper pouch. Look at that. 
very, very cool. So yeah, excited about that. It's got, it's a backpack. That's all I ever use. All right, so let's move. Actually, I want to save this for last. Gigantic bag. Save that for last. Let's do this. I got a life preserver. It's an inflatable, um, as opposed to that big bulky foam one that I wear all the time. Um, this is gonna be huge. So most of the time, I always wear a life preserver. Um, it's just a smart thing to do. But most of the time I'm in water where if I fall out of the kayak, I'm not saying I never go in deep water in the kayak. There are plenty of times where I've been going over really, really deep water and dangerous water. But this has, I'll set this up later. It has the, comes with the CO2 cartridge and everything. Um, but it has the pull out tab right here. Pull it, it inflates. If you go overboard, you're good to go. Enough said. Put that back here. Probably don't need to be banging the CO2 cartridge like that. Check this out. So I can't get, my kayak's not wide enough, um, like an Ascend kayak or any of the other, like a Hobie. It's not as wide as that. If you remember, I just have the um, the 100 Angler, the um, Tamarack, and that's a Lifetime from Walmart. That's where I got it. It was an inexpensive kayak, but I've put it to good use. The traditional seats that fit in a Hobie and stuff like that don't fit inside of a Lifetime Tamarack. So I got this. This is really cool. It's a folding seat, and I measured, and this will fit right down in there where my existing seat is but it gives me that extra back support right here it's padded right here lots of padding right here this is going to be a game changer because i'm already going out it has it even has like a little pouch back here i'm going out and i'm spending so much I'm, i spend like eight nine hours on the water so this is going to be huge take a lot of stress off my back all right so I know everyone got excited whenever I showed the giant Bass Pro Shops bag. Um, let's start with this. So a buddy of mine gave me um, this grill, and you'll see it in the video whenever we go on the little trip. Um, I keep calling it my mini trip. But the, um, the grill that he gave me is just one of those little gas burner grills. So I went and got a tank from Bass Pro Shops, a little Coleman tank, and um, I'll hook that up to it. I'm excited about that. That's going to be, that's going to boil the water that we need. And I have that, um, do you remember that video where we went camping, we did a solo camping trip and I have that, um, what brand is that? Hold on, I gotta go get it. Yeah, so it was this, it was the uh, Mountain House Adventure Meals. Um, it's the beef stroganoff with noodles. You remember I put the water in, the bottle of water and yeah, it was okay. It was a little crunchy, but um, the grill that I have, I am going to be able to boil water. And I'm going to take a little uh, pot with me so that I can dump it in here. And I also got, so this will be dinner for Saturday night and then um, breakfast for Sunday morning. Bam! Check that out. Strawberry granola with milk. I'm excited about that. It's a uh, just add water. I think it's a cup, cup of boiling water. Yeah, one cup of boiling water. Blah blah blah. Um, that's going to be really good. 780 calories per package. So that's that's good. 20 grams of protein. Protein. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Um, that's going to be really really good. But dinner, breakfast, I'm covered. That's all I got to take. Cheap. I think both of those all together for two meals, probably it's seven, or no, it wasn't seven, it was like six forty-nine. dollars it's about $14.50, somewhere around there. All right, upward and onward. You guys don't need to see the receipt. <laughs> Let's start with hard baits. All right. So I got a um, shad wrap, I think I'm going to be fishing a lot of um, anywhere from like one foot, two feet, all the way up to probably like eight feet on the area that I'm planning on fishing. So 
that's going to be, I think, really, really good, um, considering that it runs four to six feet. And it's in a kind of a shad pattern. Um, let's see. Another hard bait in a shad pattern. I got a little booyah crankbait. That's going to be, I think that'll be a really good one, a little square bill. Can't go wrong with throwing a little square bill. I got a, my first ever, I've never bought a Lucky Craft more in my entire life. Um, I know that they come in a lot of those mystery boxes and stuff, but check that out. So it's the uh, Live Threadfin Shad. I'm excited about this. This is three to four feet. So I'm thinking if I'm throwing that um, four to six footer and it's going down too far and they're actually wanting to come up after it, maybe put the little square bill like this on. Maybe they'd be more inclined to come up after it. All right, let's see, is that all the hard baits? Those are all the hard baits. Okay, so I picked this up. I've been wanting to try one of these. Um, this is the uh, Z-Man Chatterbait Freedom. It was, uh, it was a collaboration between Z-Man and Freedom Tackle. So this actually has, if you can see it there or not, this actually has a swing head on it. Um, and then you do your, it, it's like a, uh, basically an offset, um, let's see if you can see it there, like an offset, like an EWG plastic worm hook on the back. So my trailer that goes on the back, I have a little bit larger, um, uh, what are they? I think they're in the shad color. <clears throat> yeah, so. I could throw these on there, or I have a little bit uh, bigger ones than these in the silver color. But I could definitely put those on there and run it on the back of that chatterbait. That would look pretty darn good with the chartreuse and the electric. There's the electric blue and chartreuse. Imitate that larger bait fish. All right, so these kind of go together. Oh, I got some new scissors. These were $3.49. So I am going to see how these hold up, and then I'll give you my honest opinion. They're the Bass Pro Shops uh, XTS. So we'll see. They're stainless steel. They are braided line scissors, so they should hold up pretty well. Great. So I already have some little Ned. Um, it's actually the, the shroom heads, but I got the weedless shroom heads. And I got the, listen, I got the rattling, um, the Guggenbaits rattling neck, Ned, and I got in the uh, green pumpkin goby. So I think that'll be a good color down there. It's got a little bit of purple in it, as well as the green pumpkin. And then I'm going to throw it on these, because I'm going to be uh, throwing around a lot of, uh, probably a lot of like stumps and stuff, from what I understand of um, Lake Moultrie. But... Those are really, really cool. They're the Pro Shrooms Weedless. And I got those in a tenth of an ounce. So I think that'll be a really good finesse, finesse setup. Um, other than that, I got... Oh, I'm probably going to... Probably going to end up throwing some... Um, well, I know I'm going to end up throwing some drop shot. It's so like I tried the Dell, the, the casting drop shot um, weights. I'm going to try those. They should work pretty well. And then I got the uh, this. I thought this was really cool. Check those out. It's in a shiner color. Let me show you the other side. Maybe. It's in like a shiner color. And then I could um, either drop shot these or I could Ned rig these. Probably drop shot, but the Ned rig would look pretty cool with these too. I got these to try. I've never tried these before. And I mainly got, I picked these up. I'm probably going to use those down there. But I got these for, they're 16th ounce. There are four of them in here in a green pumpkin color. But the line goes through just like a regular uh, bullet weight. But then they have um, screw heads on them. There's like a plastic sleeve and there's a screw head. So I'm thinking, I got like, um, they're not very heavy. I mean, they're, they're not super heavy. But my thought was if I do like a trick worm or something like that, I, that trick worm is usually big enough 
I could screw that on there perfectly and that would be enough weight to cast out and instead of that um, the trick worms tend to fall the right way anyway but instead of it going down I thought that might look more appealing if it was going straight down like this so try it if it works we'll call it a new technique um, and then I got to go with those bullet weights I got some uh, Gamagatsu uh, 4 aught EWG hooks and then I got a uh, jig should be pretty cool little jig that's it nothing else in the bag but I gotta get a uh, gotta get everything sorted out and yeah gonna be a big trip I'm excited I hope y'all are excited like I said if anyone is in that area or if you're like two hours away and you want to meet me there maybe fish we could do that that'd be a lot of fun hit me up but uh, I will catch y'all next time make sure that you hit the like button down below make sure that you comment as well make sure you share the video out and more importantly than anything make sure you subscribe I'll catch y'all next time take care